Good afternoon, guys. It's Harry Dillon, Jr., the Internet Guy from Investment Group Partners. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. What a day on Wall Street. What a day. I mean, the markets were down most of the day. I seen the NASDAQ go green for a moment because everybody was waiting on Chairman uh, the Fed Chairman Powell. They were waiting on his announcement, what he's going to say, and, and the markets just moved weird. Now, we did pretty good. Pre-market trade, we have to talk about MSGM. We got to talk about it. I, I, I bought the stock to market it yesterday. I told people about it. Get in. I like the stock. I like what it's doing. We decided to hold the stock over through through after hour trade, it dropped down to 24 and after hour trade and got as high back as 27 and after hour trade. We got in at 713, 789. I'll look in a few minutes, but we're going to be looking at that stock tonight. And I want you guys to understand something in pre market trading this morning when we did opening bell this morning on MSG, stock got up to $65. $65. Now, get me right now. I should have sold it then. Should have sold it in pre market trading, but here's what I thought. And that's why I'm telling you the Bible tells us. Uh, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. And he, not me, not the market, not your pastor, not your wife, not your husband. He, meaning God, will direct your path. Because there's a way by man that seemeth right. But that way leads to death. Listen, I should have sold it this morning when, when I got the unction. <laughs> should have sold it. It would have been up 11 grand. One trade, one stock, one portfolio. Y'all better talk to me. Now, we're still holding good. We're still up about 311% on the stock. We're talking about MSGM. If you guys have not got into it, and you, you, if you know how to trade and you're buying after hours, now would probably be the time to get in because there's a dip. There's a dip. The only thing I can do would ask God for forgiveness and say, Lord, can I get a double play? <laughs> can I get a double play? Carvana, C-V-N-A. I keep talking about Carvana. I was on LinkedIn, one of the social media sites, been in the car business for 26 years. They were laughing at me. Carvana's going broke. Carvana. I said, no, buy the dip. If you're in the car business, why wouldn't you own stock in something that you buy, sell, or compete against? So Carvana, buy the stock, C-V-N-A. Y'all hear me? C-V is in victory, N is in Nicodemus, A is in anointing. C-V-N-A, buy the stock. Right now, we're going to, and I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. Carvana is the, is the third best uh, performing stock of the portfolio. We have seven neighborhood managed group portfolios. Ding, 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 ding. One of our group portfolios, full. Done, 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 done. CGM, CGIF, Community Group Investment Fund Portfolio. We can only have up to 100 members based on SEC rules concerning an investment club. And we're at 100. We're right there. So it's closing to open enrollment. Open enrollment is the 22nd of March for new members. Now, open enrollment starts again today. Hallelujah! Yeah. Starts again today, February the 1st. Welcome to February, Black History Month. I don't know why they give us one month, but it's Black History Month, so we're going to celebrate Black History all month long. Y'all better talk to me all month long. So we're going to find uh, people in Black History that you may not have heard about. We're going to talk about people in business, people that are saved, sanctified. We're going to talk about history just pertaining to black folks. Y'all better talk to me and some of the good work that they've done. Hey, guys, you've never joined us before. I'm Harold D. I'm Jr., the Internet Guy. This is After the Bell. The markets are closed. There's after-hour trading going on. When the markets close for regular trading, there's three more hours of trading. So on the, on the East Coast, it's from 4 to 7. On the West Coast, it's from 1 to 4 because of the three-hour time difference and then everything in between. So we're preparing, man, because after the markets close and uh, the Australian markets open up, the India markets open up, and then eventually the Asian markets open up. Now, we're going to be looking at them tonight. This is going to be an all-nighter. I just want you all to know. This is going to be an all-nighter. Uh, because th there's no way, because I've been praying and asking, and God, man, and I just missed it. I did not listen to the Holy Spirit. That's disobedience. That's disobedience. And I, and I thank and I praise God for his mercy and his grace. Guys, if you just now join us, we're talking about Carvana, C-V-N-A, C-V-N-A. And I'm going to do a pop-up profit opportunity. But I told you all three days ago, we're going to go back three days, just three days. Let me go back three days. So I'm going to go back three days, and I believe the stock was six dollars. Six. And I said, bye, 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 bye. Six dollars. CVNA Carvana. The stock is running. So at six dollars three days ago, 
is where the stock was trading. It's trading after hours right now at 1594. 1594. Here's the company that everybody been laughing at. I told you they bought Odessa. Listen, when you gathered information, when you've done your due diligence, when you've done your research, you have enough information. Once you gather that information, now you have to understand what you got. You have to understand what you got. The problem is we learn scripture, but we don't learn how to apply scripture into our daily activity, into every aspect of our life, of our living. So guess what? The Bible teaches me in all of thy getting, get an understanding. So I gathered information, gathered information, looked at what they had. Uh, I didn't look at what the normal people look at. I looked at different things. I looked at the son. I looked at the father. Well, the son is a genius. The son is the one that put the app together for the father. The father owns drive time. The father's a multi-billionaire. He became a billionaire because he used to run the Ugly Duckling. Now, some of y'all ain't as old as me, but the Ugly Duckling was a rental car company. Then he began to finance people on his own. And eventually it grew into drive time as we know it today. Well, the son grew up, created the app. So drive time had this app. You can find out, get your payment online. Eventually he told daddy, hey, I want to start my own company. Daddy said, not a problem. Here go a billion dollars. I'm going to be your biggest shareholder. You can take care of the time. So they started Carvana. Carvana shot. Shut up. I'm talking about Carvana. I'm giving you history. They're Spanish family. Yeah, Hispanic. Y'all didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Father and son, both billionaires. So Carvana takes off. Stock trades as high as $350. It's the perfect season for Carvana. COVID hit. They get all this cash. They're cash rich. They're being successful. They're doing everything they're supposed to do right. They buy Odessa. Odessa Auto Auction. Look it up. You look up Odessa Auto because they bought it. The day that they bought it, people went, lost their mind. Then all of a sudden, the market does what it does, and CVNA, that's the symbol for Carvana, the stock begins to plummet. Down 95%. 95% for the year. I said it's time to buy. It's time to buy. There's nowhere else this stock can go but up. There's nowhere else this stock can go but up. I've gathered the information. I've done my research. I did my due diligence. So what do you buy? You make a healthy investment. I got a thousand bucks. Then buy a thousand bucks of Carvana. Remember, we don't invest. We don't buy stocks. We invest money. So you have to determine how much I have and how much I want to invest. And then we search out the companies by doing our research. CVNA. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended buy. Recommended by, that is the second best trading stock. So we talked about two already, MSGM, Mary, God, Solomon, Martha, MSGM. The stock hit $65 in pre-market trading. We were up 11 grand before the market's even opened. I thought it was going to open a little bit higher. This is why we have to listen to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all their heart. Lean not into your own understanding. My understanding. Should have just prayed and said, Lord, what do I do next? See? Try to put your education into a situation that doesn't work. Open up, it opened up at $27, but in pre-market trading, it was $65. What stock does that? <laughs> MSGN CV C C V N A Carvana. That's the second. Y'all ready for another one? Tesla. Oh yeah, you know I like Tesla. Tesla T S L A Tesla Tesla. Let me pull up the chart. Here we go. Tesla after hours. Waiting for it to load after hours. Now we talked about Tesla two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So 184 is where it's trading after hours. I told you guys, buy the stock. We got in at 108. At 120, I said, buy the stock. We got in at 108. At, at 130, I said, at 144, I said, buy the stock. Because Elon's about to do some stuff. Once you gather the information, that's the catalyst. That's the news. Find out what's going on. Do your due diligence. Use this time of the evening to learn about the stock. Do your research. You don't need all these fancy tools. Look, Google. Google the stock. T-S-L-A space stock. It'll pull it up. Google will pull up a financial thing. Then you do history on the company. You do history on the, on the guy. You do history on the, on the, on the sales of the car. Tesla, T-S-L-A trading up. Stock is on his way back. Elon has a multi-billion dollar buyback option he's going to use. Sales were up. He discounted the Tesla. He already set the world on fire because Ford was not going to discount their mark 
Their, I think I feel what the name of their car is, the electric car. Now they have to because Elon discounted his car, and everybody else going to have to discount their car. Remember, Tesla has 70% of the electric car market. 70%. They're not even a car company. They're called technology. TSLA, that's the one you want to buy. So we talked about three stocks. Three stocks. Tell your friends. Call your mama. Call your daddy, your auntie, uncle, your sister, brothers. Call them. TSLA, that's one. CVNA, that's two. MSGM, that's three. Those are the three biggest paying stocks of the portfolio. So listen, guys, we have seven neighborhood managed group portfolios. Each portfolio, each neighborhood. Neighborhood managed portfolio has at least seven companies inside. Why? Because the book of Ecclesiastics 11, 1 and 2. Listen, if you're coming to the lesson, you're supposed to bring your pen, you're supposed to bring your Bible, and you're supposed to bring your journal because you got to take notes. You got to take notes. So, your three stocks that you got so far, you should be writing down CVNA, Carvana, you should write MSGM, the name of that company is, oh, what is the name of that company? Hold on one second. Motorsport Games Incorporated. We found another one too, but we're not there yet. So three big stocks, MSGM. Okay, you got that, MSGM. You got CVNA, Carvana. The stock's trading up $9 from where I told you to buy that. $9. 15 let me go back to Carvana real quick. Let me go back to Carvana. It's at sixteen oh five after hours. This stock is going to open up at seventeen dollars. I guarantee you tomorrow, and it's going to run to twenty five. Check my tweets. Three week, three, four days ago, I put twenty five dollars. I'm gonna retweet it. I'm gonna read twenty five dollars. That I mean, and it's look, the stock used to trade at three hundred fifty dollars. So there's a plenty of room. There's a margin of profitability there, and if you want to earn a profit, I'm trying to tell you how to exercise your right as a Christian, as a steward of God, how to take the principles of God from the Bible, apply them to your everyday facet of living. Every part of your living in blind the scripture. We're going to Ecclesiastics 11, 1 and 2. And why are we going there? Because it tells us how, how often or how much income we should have. Streams of income. How many you got? How many streams of income you got? Come on, let me hear. You should have seven or eight. So, Ecclesiastics, NIV version, I'm right there, 11 and 1. It says, ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may receive a return. You may receive a return. That means that your stuff is at risk. Even the Lord, through Solomon, is telling us, you may receive a return. Invest in seven ventures, invest in seven ventures, invest in seven ventures. Yes, in eight, you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. This is why you need seven or eight streams of income because you don't know what's going to happen. We found out during COVID we can lose our job and you get a fraction of what you were getting paid. So that means if you were making $100,000 a year, you didn't get $100,000 a year. You didn't even get $50,000 a year. You got a fraction of what you were making. So if you lose your job right now, it ain't even COVID. They ain't going to give you nothing but unemployment. What you going to do? What's your second stream? What's your backup? What, what is it? Seven, eight streams of income because you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. Ecclesiastes 1 and 2, but you read 1 through 6, get an understanding. Once you get an understanding, then start implementing this into your life every single time. Seven is God's perfection number. Seven is a number of completion. So we have seven neighborhood managed group portfolios. Inside of these seven neighborhood managed group portfolios is seven or eight different companies we invest in. Each of them have their own end result expectation. Each of them stand on their own stability. Each of them have their own goals, their rules, their own strategies that they operate and function under. Just like the body of Christ, all of us represent something different. We talked about three stocks already. Y'all want to talk to me? My name is Harold Dillon Jr. I'm the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. Super excited, super motivated. Got my chips today. Y'all better talk to me. Let's see who makes these chips. Smart Label. So we want to find out because my family eats Smart Label. I'm going to show you how to really and truly recycle God's money. So Smart Label, we want to find out if that is a publicly traded company or what company makes this that may be publicly traded. Because if you eat it, you should own it. And when you buy stocks, you are an owner. Did you know that? You are an owner. If you wear it, if you drive it, buy it. Own it. You're already putting money into it. You might as well get some of the money back. Listen, in Matthew 25, because God is looking for a return. 
in Matthew 25. Uh, everybody knows the scripture, but the problem is we're not implementing the lesson from the scripture. Matthew 25. Go there! Matthew 25. 14. Matthew 25 and 14. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. He entrusted his wealth to them. Watch this. So the first part, the first part of the lesson is we want to learn about is called entrusted something. Entrust. So that means that he entrusted his wealth to them. Watch this. Then we want to go to one he gave five bags of gold. To another he gave two bags of gold. To another one bag of gold. Watch this. Each according to his ability. He entrusted them according to his ability, to their ability. This is why some of us in the body have more than the other because he entrusted us based on our ability. God won't give you more than you can handle. <laughs> See how the scriptures coincide. You have to apply that to your life. That's the part. All you have to do is think about God before you do something. That's all you got to do. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in everything you do. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all they do. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Acknowledge him. Thank you, Lord. For I eat. Thank you, Lord. Before I drive. Thank you, Lord, for getting up. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and in he. He alone will direct our path, telling you where to go, what to do. But if you're not in position. So we realize that, that God will entrust stuff to us based on our ability. Then the man went on his journey. I'm in verse 16, Matthew 25 and 16. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once, put his money to work, and gained five more bags. Didn't tell us exactly what he did, but he put his money to work. Go back to Ecclesiastics. 11, 1 and 2, we're, we're putting this together because every once in a while you've got to know what to do, when to do. And you've got to have instructions. You ever try to put a bicycle together? I did without the instructions. You look at the picture and it is, I, can, I got this. Lean on your own understanding. There's a way by man that seemeth right. And that way leads to death. Is my hat straight? The show coming, guys. <laughs> so we go back to Ecclesiastes 11, 1 and 2. We go back. Because we want to coincide with the, the, immediately he went and put his, his, the money to work and got five more bags. Immediately. Just as quick as he got it, he got a return. We don't do that. We don't do that. You know why? Because we're afraid. If the, if the spirit of fear comes on you, that should motivate you to do it even more. Because the Bible teaches us that God does not give us a spirit of fear. See, that alone is a lesson. Hallelujah. That alone is a lesson. I'm about to sing. And the spirit of fear fall on me. I should be even more motivated because the spirit of fear does not come from God. Y'all better talk to me. Glory be upon your name, God. What, did you, what are you learning? See, what happens is we just sit around and we become amen. <laughs> this is why you got to have your own Bible. You should have several different Bibles. You need the instructions so you can fix that thing. Because I tried to put that bicycle together based on the picture. And you know what? I had parts left over. My wife said, that baby ain't riding this bicycle. Not till you find out where them parts go. There ain't no way. So you got to follow the instructions. So he immediately went out and got five bags of gold. If you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. We're, it's after the bell. We're still in Why Not Wednesday. It's still day 32. Of the new year, we're in day one of the second month of the first quarter. Welcome to February, Black History Month. My name is Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet Guy. Today's lesson from the beginning of the day till right now is still the same. It's a week-long lesson on what? Education and understanding. So everything we're given is a teaching lesson so you can educate and understand. Y'all better talk to me. We're talking about three stocks today. Let me give them to you again. C-R, so excuse me, C-V-N-A, Carvana, C-V-N-A, Carvana. Next one, M-S-G-M, M-S as in Samuel, G-M. The next one was Tesla, T-S-L-A, Tesla, T-S-L-A, that's the top three. Come on, let's go to number four. 
Amazon, A-M-Z-N, Amazon. Right now is the best time to buy Amazon, Tesla, and Google. They did a stock split June, July, and August of last year. Never have they done it before. Never had the three big tech stocks out there all at the time with trillion dollar companies do a stock split. So they flooded the market so every Tom, Dick, and Harry can buy the stock. Well, all of them also have a multi-billion dollar option of buying those stocks back. And it just as quickly as they did the June for Amazon, July for Google, August for Tesla, they're going to do first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, they're going to start buying the stocks back. And they're going to go up, 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 up. So buy every chance you get, buy a share. Every chance you get. If you don't have it to buy a share, go open your Charles Schwab account. That's a full service brokerage account. Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, uh, Robinhood. These are full service brokerage accounts. Acorn is not full service. Cash App is not full service. PayPal is not full service. These are not full service brokerage accounts. You want full service. You want a platform for where your money, you can learn how to what? Manage, establish, maintain the framework of your family's financial future. Y'all better talk to me today. Guys, this is after the bell. We're still talking about you getting ready for the future. This is something we have to do. Our ministry is called from Proverbs 13, 22. A good man, a righteous man, an honorable man leaves an inheritance for his children's children and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. You can listen to crazy Jim Cramer if you want. He ain't Jesus. We listen to the word of God. Colossians 2 and 8. And this is just a warning. This is a quick warning for you. Colossians 2 and 8. You got to know where he was at. He went to Corinth. Then he went to Ephesians, he went to Galatians, he went to Philippi. Come on, guys, find it in the Bible. After Philippi, he was in Coloss. It's a city. All right, Colossians 2 and 8. So back then, like you lived in Coloss, then you were a Colossian. I lived in Philadelphia. I'm a Philadelphian. So if you live in Las Vegas, with you a Las Vegan? <laughs> All right, uh, Colossians 2 and 8, y'all ready? See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. Do not listen to the psychological babble of this world. You have to focus on what Christ has for you concerning your assignment. This here is for everybody. But not everybody's going to follow the uh, end result expectations of Proverbs 13, 22. Not everybody's going to follow the end result expectations of First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10, talking about Jabez. Not everybody's going to follow Ecclesiastes 11, 1 through 2, then read through 11 through 6 and get an understanding. Not everybody's going to follow Psalms 1, 1 through 6, because you have to be in position for that. In order to be in position, watch this. Psalms 1, let's go there. If you don't go there, just write it down. Go later. We're going to Psalms 1. NIV verse is what I'm reading. Blessed is the one. So you want to be blessed. You want to be blessed. And, it, and this ain't no conversation. This is about being blessed. You probably need to look up the definition of being blessed. So blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. So you want to be blessed, don't walk in the step with the wicked. Or stand in the way of sinners. You want to be blessed, don't stand in the way of sinners take. Or sit in the company of mockers. Don't sit in the company of mockers. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord. That's got to be your delight. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6.33. And his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Today, you have to focus on the right now. And I want to be in position because when I'm in position, I'm blessed. And it says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord who meditates on the law day and night. That person, because I'm in position, is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prosper. I'm prospering. So whatever I do prosper. So now I'm in the stock market. That's what we do. We trade, we buy and sell individual companies or buy and sell individual stocks. We don't focus on ETFs. We do look at SPACs, we look at IPOs, but we focus on individual stocks. But before we get to the stock, we look at the sector. We have a strategy we implement every day called sector trading strategy. We look for the sector, then the industry, then the stock. Sector, industry, company, buy it. Sector, industry, company, buy it. Once we get to the company, we have a seven key indicator that we look for. Seven key indicators. I hear teaching Deacon Hoop the other day. Go to our church, Nehemiah. And I'll show them. You got to look for the seven key indicators. Once you find the company, find the seven key indicators. Guys, I got a good company I want you to buy. I mean, you got to check this company out. Okay. Give me the symbol. Once you get the symbol, look for the seven key indicators. Those seven key indicators include, first, the exchange. What exchange does it trade on? Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. Well, we like the NASDAQ. Why do you like the NASDAQ? Because it serves two purposes. It's an index and it's a place where you can actually buy stocks. It's an exchange. And then second, we look at the sector. What sector? 
What neighborhood you from? What sect you from? West side? There are 12 different sectors. Four we've already identified as high risk sectors. So we look for the sector. What are those high risk sectors? Healthcare, basic materials, industrials, energy. Because of the current status of the world, those four sectors are considered high risk. The other eight that are available out of the 12 that I know of are safe sectors. So we look for the sectors. That's number two. Number three, we look at the price point. Can I afford the stock? You got to have a, a tolerance level for what you're going to buy, how much you're going to spend, how much you want to invest. So can I afford the stock? So we look at the price pad. We look at the current price. We look at where it opened up at. We look where it closed at. And we look at the difference. Number three, we look at the, uh, the volume. What, what volume is it trading at right now? We call that the right now volume. And is that right now volume greater than the 10 day volume? If it is, ding, 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 ding. We like that. Seven key indicators. The other one, we look at market cap. Market cap. We like companies that are $25 million or more. That's the market cap. Not that we won't buy one less than that, but we're looking for seven key indicators because God, that's God's perfect number. That's the number of completion. Seven key indicators are what we're looking for. Ding, 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 ding. If we get five, we'll buy the stock. If we get six, we'll buy the stock. If we get four, further research. Further research. All right? So then next we look at the price pattern. So we will look at the day's low and the day's high. This is the intraday movement of the stock. Where's the stock been? Where's the stock going? What has the stock done before? So we look at the intraday high, the lowest is traded for the day, the highest is traded for the day, the, the lowest is traded for the year, the highest is traded for the year, and we want to see, because we want to measure out our what? Our, pro, our margin of profitability, that's off the 52-week high or the intraday high, and against what? Our uh, risk factor. So if I buy it at 95 cents and, the, and the, today's low is 86 cents, but the 52 week high is 3 cents, then I'm counting. I go, wait a minute, that thing is dropped back down to 3 cents. That means I lose 87 cents or 91 cents for every share I buy if it's 94 cents. But then I look at the 52 week high, it's $12. Oh, wait a minute. I look at the intraday high, it's a dollar. So I want to, I want to measure that. So we like that we see that the, the margin of profitability based on the price pattern outweighs the risk factor. And then number seven, y'all been talking to me, shares outstanding. What's the float? What's the float? Shares outstanding. We like a billion or less. We like a billion or less. Those are the seven key indicators we look for. You find that in a full service brokerage account because it has what they call a snapshot. And we can look at the snapshot because after you go through that type of training, you look at the snapshot, you better make a quick decision. Quick decision. So, guys, we're talking about the best trading stocks. Go in tomorrow. Be ready. CVNA, Carvana. Uh, MSGM. MSGM. Get ready. Tesla. Hey, let me give y'all some, some, uh, some other ones. Hold on a second. We have one that we really like. There it is. There it is. G-S-U-N. Let's see what it's doing right now. All right. G-S-U-N. Educational stock. Chinese stock. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by with caution. Caution because it's a Chinese stock. Communist country. That plain and simple. But G-S-U-N. God, Samuel, Uriah, Nicodemus. G-S-U-N. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by with caution. Here's another one. MLCO. We like that. MLCO. Hold on a second. I wait for that. I pulled up the wrong chart. I pulled up alphabet. MLCO. Affordable. This is Melco Resorts. Why do we like that? Chinese Resorts. Macau. That's all I'm going to say. Macau is much bigger than Las Vegas. Look it up. It's in China. Macau. And it's, it's a Chinese resort. It's like Las Vegas. I live in Las Vegas. We've got big hotels, monstrosities of buildings, and they're building them bigger and better and wider, and they got malls inside of them, everything. And they tell me Macau is 10 times the size of Las Vegas. Y'all better talk to me. Hotels are bigger. Come on. So we invested in one of those. Stocks trading at 13, 6, and 7 after hours is pretty much flat because it's a Chinese stock. But we still like it. Come on. So that would be with caution. Let me give you another one. Let me see. I'm going to put this stuff in alphabetical order real quick. There was one that we got in today. Oh, oh, I wanted people are back reading. 
This is my, this is, everybody knows this one. B-N-E-D. Then I'm shutting down for the night. B-N-E-D. Bartholomew, Nicodemus, Elijah, David. Bartholomew, Nicodemus, Elijah, David. B-N-E-D. Barnes and Noble. People going back reading again. Barnes and Noble. Affordable. Stocks trade it closed at 2.30 after hours at 2.37. So it's trading up after hours. Barnes and Noble, 2037 cents a share. Stocks been going up every day, 3 to 5%. 3 to 5%. Every day we got in around 95 cents. Do you hear me? Come on. You can buy 100 shares for $95. You can buy 200 shares for $200. You can buy 300 shares for $300. So when the stock gets back to its normal pricing, you're in a position of purpose to earn money. One stock, one trade. All right, guys, listen, my job is to teach you how to be a better steward, a set of steward, teach you how to establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. You can sit around all day long and have more month left, month after month, than money, or you can choose to do what God has called you to do, and that is to be the head, not the tail, the lender, and not the borrower. God has a plan for you. I'm going to give you that plan out of Jeremiah. And then I'm gone for the evening. There's a plan out of Jeremiah. You know where I'm probably going. You've probably been there before. My wife and kids bought me a Bible. And it has this, has this quote on it. For I know the plans I have for you. Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. Write that down. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. That's what God has for you. You can sit around and be broke, busted all you want. But let me tell you something. God got a hustle in you. God gave you uh, the authority to walk and, and to, to, to cast out demons and, and trample over serpents. You have that. But yet still, you decide to listen to the world and all of that catalyst, all that noise that they're bringing. I don't know about you guys, but I thank and praise God because if he allows me to see tomorrow. <laughs> Hallelujah. He allows me to see tomorrow. I'm claiming it's harvest time. It's harvest time. And tomorrow, I'm in a different income level. Y'all better talk to me. I'm already claiming my wealth. I'm just going to pick it up tomorrow. Right here, right now. You heard it. Save it. Screenshot it. Because I'm going to tell you that, 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 that my value, my net value, because you're going to see it tomorrow. Y'all better see you tomorrow. Hallelujah. See you later.